Ladies and gentlemen, uh, respected uh, Mr. and Mrs. Munikrishan, it's a proud privilege for me to come here. Uh, I must, last time also, uh, I was there with them when uh, we had put the bust here and uh, I had, uh, my memories go back time and again and every time I reflect myself, something new comes up and something more inspiring comes up for all of us when we look into Sandeep's life. Irrespective of the rank, write it from a paratrooper to a journal, we all see something to take it from his way. Few things which I would just recall uh, for this operation, so that the new kids, and of course there are new entries, uh, in this uh, beautiful enclave who can just uh, be told about Sandeep. Sandeep was my training officer. So when I had come, he, he, was, he had already done his operational experience in 51 Special Action Group, which is also in hostage rescue at the national level. That's the unit I'm talking about. Uh, so the experience in the unit counts. And that is how, when I had come in, I wanted a person who has done his tenure in 51 ACT to be put as my training officer. And the training officer is like a god. So a commanding officer who comes, whatever experience I might be having in my previous tenures uh, of a special forces officer, but what training the training officer gives, nobody can change. Because that training has been evolved over a period of time. So that is what was Sandeep to me. And I had given him full uh, liberty. Whosoever senior might be, whosoever gives you any order, do not change your training until unless you yourself are satisfied. So uh, two months he was totally on to the training and that's a great thing which happened to me because last uh, I took over on 26th of September and 26th November this happened. So these two months he really shaped the unit where we wanted it to come. Just before we moved out of Manesan, I still remember since he was responsible to get the people together and was not part of the operational team, the first team which has to move out. So he, he had come in whatever rig he was, in the track suits, so that he could make people operationally ready, the ones who were to go. So when I was moving out with my first operational team, I still remember a person coming in front of my gypsy in this track suit, stops my gypsy, comes to me. I said, yes, Sandeep, have you forgotten something which you want me to you know, carry or something you have forgotten? He said, sir, you are forgetting me. So I said, Sandeep, I require you here because I don't know the scale of operation. There might be other things which are required to come. So I want them that you prepare them and if required, you come with the second team. Though my 2IC was already there, who could have brought the second team, but I had more, uh, I would say, in the training officer because he sees what equipment they are carrying and they, he makes them ready. But he said, sir, one word, how will I come to know my training is successful if I don't take part in this operation? And that's the word, I don't think so. Anywhere in the world you will find that kind of jaloon that I kind of that I've been left back. I didn't have the time for him to go, to tell him to go and change. I said hop in. He hopped in in the same civil attack. When we reached the airport, I changed with one of the commandos. All his gear and weapon and system I gave it to him. But I couldn't change his shoes. So when he was fighting there inside, He's still fighting in the sneakers. So uh, that time, you know, a lot of people, sometimes they give 
out of contest uh, one liner zero energy does not have even a uniform to give it to its commanders not realizing in what contest that person has come in and how he has come in. so that was sandeep unikrish and that is where uh, the genuine of things which he gave and of course the rest what he did and good that i got him because scale of the operation was not which was projected to us the two hotels in tal not one so sandeep was given the responsibility of taking the heritage and tower was given to major uh, kanpal who is not one and the all terrorist has moved from tower to heritage a night prior with a brief encounter with the marcos so all four of them were where sandeep was clearing they were not in the the new hotel that is how he encountered and that's where we finally because of his action he could finally corner them to one place and that is where finally all of them were so destiny plays a big role and i am a firm believer what are you destined to have you do your best it will come your way one more incident i will tell you before we started the operation in taj we went entered the lobby and there is on the ground floor there is called harbor bar when you visit taj must visit that bar sandeep myself we planned that our operation starting from harbor bar in that bar we planned our operation and i told him one staircase which was there that we can utilize that staircase today it is a lift there used to be a staircase which connects harbor bar with wasabi restaurant so that's where the uh, thing now how destiny plays we started our operation all these 60 hours and i would say 96 hours because we were away 96 hours 60 hours all the time so in the end where i started my operation we will neutralize all those terrorists in that bar that people got but they won again got up with that training thing and again went into the and we did use it's good because once you know a place you don't want to change people new people who don't know the place So that was a good thing that uh, and uh, always this enclave Sandeep Unikrishan Bihar Sandeep Bihar is very dear to our heart. Uh, I have already told uh, the secretary and all. You all are welcome towards uh, parachute regiment. And uh, since parachute regiment is very much related to Sandeep, I also lost a brave heart. How that Gajendra in Nariman House, who was from 10 Paraiser. So the two brave hearts, Major Sandeep Pandey Krishnan and Bolda Pujinder, both of them got Ashok Chakra. That's why we are quite uh, this thing. So Sandeep Bihar will always be very dear to our heart. Uh, Any time when you are passing by, do visit him. Of course, I have told that a formal visit of the kids and all will organize it, so that we can give more insight into the training which Sandeep actually imparted to us. So, thank you for your time, and thank you, sir. for coming directly from mumbai i know it's a very hot uh, thing but you always make it i last time also it was the same thing and thank you for coming and we we'll all be there with you all the time thanks jai hind jai hind thank you sir